You, my friends, are going to be glad you tuned in for this. This is a trick that I learned right here on YouTube, and this is what several operates the Philip Patex from the Seikos. Nothing quite like a hand finish, am I right? Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. Friction stir welding, take two. So I've compiled a list of all of the YouTube comments. Most of them I've ignored. Some of them actually make sense. And I'm at a point now where I'm ready to prototype the flashlight and I need to put the vise and tram it back on in the mill. But before I do that, I want another go have at this friction stir welding. And there was some really awesome ideas. One, I gotta have the shoulder sharper and I could put a spacer in to call it, but then I need to know what size spacer and then when I tighten it up, yada, yada, yada. So I think I'm gonna make a shoulder. And despite my best lackluster efforts, I'm gonna go ahead and change the belt on the bridge port get the speed just right and most importantly we're going to get the clamping correct for the work pieces and this is interesting look at this there's some aluminium that actually welded itself to the Cumston tar guide and that's interesting because uh, it's not supposed to wet carbon tungstide so I don't know what the hell happened there but uh, we're going to give her a try oh yeah and the other thing is the Bridgeport milling machine didn't have enough power to put a quarter inch weld in there so there's no way I'm going to take a, a whole un modified billet and jam it in there it's just it ain't gonna work there's not enough power you my friends are gonna be glad you tuned in for this this is a trick that i learned right here on youtube and this is what several operates the philip patex from the seikos well that switched french accent and uh the price tag of course what i'm talking about is the hand finishing nothing quite like a hand finish am i right Those brushes get hot. Woo! You're gonna want to keep that one to yourself. One thing we do not need is our grade 10 metal shop babysitter shooting all over us. All right, we got her chucked up, and we're changing the belt here. We're gonna go middle of the road, and then 90 hertz, and we're gonna give her wah. Here we have it. I don't know if you can hear that. It's thunder. There's an electrical storm. So if we're lucky, we'll get hit by electricity and this little bridge port will have enough power to chooch this thing. So the whole deal with friction welding in layman's terms, because obviously I'm no expert, <laughs> is that it doesn't melt it or anything. It just churns it up. So all the grain structure is like this cookie dough batter mix match. And as the tool goes through, it just churns this all up. And, um, and then it's like it's plastic, it's plastically deformed. And then as it goes through, it just welds these two bits together and they, the grain structures uh, bond together and it's just like welding without actually melting the metal. So if you have a look at that, that's exactly what it's doing right here. Churn that all together. Now the problem is our clamping is failing us. There's the backing plate from the last attempt of the butt weld. So that gave me an idea. Instead of uh, butt welding, we're, we're gonna weld them together, sandwich style. And I got not once, not twice, not thrice, but four times the clamps here. A half inch, it's about four tons each. That's 16 tons of hold down. Let's see if that does it.
just up here. Wow, that's pretty cool. A fail, but pretty cool nonetheless. And obviously the tool geometry isn't great, and I think the shoulder needs to be tighter so that these little magic pixies can't escape as easy. We are on the right track. All right, here we go. Different gear ratio, pulley ratio rather. Oh, she's in there pretty good though. Oh. <laughs> well, fuck me. Would you look at that? Friction stir welded. Home fabric cobbled tool. Clapped out old Bridgeport milling machine. You're welcome, boys. You ought to be able to get a whole nice worth of drinking out of making bets about this one. Thanks a lot for watching. <laughs> Keep your stick on the ice. There you have it, partner. Fucking A, just in time for Canada Day too. That's two flats you owe me. <laughs>